the real solutions that we need for jobs, for health care as a human right, through a Medicare for all, by forgiving student debt and providing free public higher education, by downsizing the military and bringing our more dollars home and using them here to truly uh, create security uh, for America and to stop driving uh, this global militarism which is really setting the world on fire. Many of the things that you have and can take for granted in Europe, uh, paid vacations and um, a healthcare system that protects you, you know, we don't have here in America as, you know, as what claims to be a leading democracy. We're actually way behind on healthcare, on our health statistics, on uh, actually on wages now, on median income. We're way behind the eight ball compared to what the uh, European democracies are doing. So we, and, and we are also, you know, we are the outlier, we are the exception in having this two-party political system. We need to have a multi-partisan democracy. Yeah. Without that, we're not you think it's possible that, that the two-party system is broken one day here in America? Uh, ab absolutely. And I think Americans are chomping at the bit to make that happen. Yeah. So that's another one of the many good solutions that we are pushing forward in this campaign. We're saying this campaign is a win no matter what. If we win the White House, we turn it into a Green House, that's a win. But we also have a win by simply begin, making this as a beginning uh, to reclaim our political voice and our political courage. We will not go forward until we've done that. So this is something that we've got to do. Thank you so much maybe, for being here. Maybe final question. So um, uh, do you happen to know the low impact man of Europe? Does that sound well? You know, I, I know about no impact man in, in New York. So I'm delighted to hear there's a low impact man in Europe. Yeah. I think we all need to be low impact men and women. Okay, thank you very much for this interview. I wish you a lot of success with the election. Thank you so much. Great talking with you. Thanks for being here. A funny final question? Yeah, real quick. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you're here at Occupy. Um, you support, obviously, you support Occupy, otherwise you wouldn't have been here. What's so important for you to, for Occupy? What, what, why, uh, well, Occupy, I think, gets to the heart of the problem in a couple of ways, you know. Occupy is about taking back our economy and our democracy, and it focuses on, on the role of Wall Street and of the economic elite in hijacking our democracy, our economy, our climate, and all the rest. And I think, you know, Occupy is right on when it comes to the issues, and it's, it's exemplary about how we're going to make change, which is, we're not, someone else isn't going to do it for us. We've got to do it ourselves. We need a social movement to be the real engine here. And our campaign hopes to give that social movement a voice in this election, because you put together an independent political party, together with a social movement that's alive and well out in the streets, we can make history together. So you could represent the Occupy Wall Street's ambitions and aspirations? Well, you know, I think we're, we're, we're absolutely on the same page. Yeah. We're allies here. Uh, you know, I think nobody speaks for Occupy. Occupy is diverse yeah. and it's a grassroots movement. But I think there's enormous synergy and, yeah. and, and harmony yeah. and we are very powerful together. Thank you so funny, much. Funny, 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 funny last question. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you. Hi. Belgium. Hello.